let us start a new chapter of standard 9th algebra chapter 7 statistics in various fields we need information in the form of numerical figure called data these data may relate to marks obtained by people of a class in a certain examination or the weight height or ages of people the monthly wages of workers or the population of town these all are compared by taking the data evaluation of such data helps to analyze the growth or decrease of pattern fundamental characteristics of data qualitative characteristics like honesty poverty cannot be measured numerically so it does not form the data the data collected for a definite purpose may not be suitable for another purpose statistics is derived from a latin word status originally statistics was used for collection of data used for the state such as army taxes land revenue that needed to be exported or imported to summarize a study which deals with the collection of data presentation of data so as to draw conclusion from it is called statistics now presentation of the statistics are three types numerical presentation graphical presentation and diagrammatic presentation numerical presentation is by arranging data in ascending or descending order ungrouped frequency distribution table or grouped frequency distribution table cumulative frequency distribution table this comes under numerical presentation now graphical presentation is histogram frequency polygon and diagrammatic presentation is simple bar diagram joint bar diagram subdivided bar diagram and percentage bar diagram pi diagram is also there which comes under diagrammatic presentation it is very important to know the nature of the data to compare the information in the given data we have different types of graph joint bar graph subdivided bar graph and percentage bar graph so this is joint bar graph where the quarterly and half yearly marks of a student is compared quarterly is shown in blue color and half yearly is shown in red color so from here we can compare the marks of a student in both the exam this is subdivided bar graph where in the same bar it is divided into four groups so here the first one blue color is nominated as physics red color for chemistry green color for botany and violet color for zoology so here the comparison of 2001 in separate subjects is shown or compared in the same graph now these are the different years where the four subjects are compared this is percentage bar graph the highest percentage will be 100% and accordingly it is divided into percentage and in the same bar graph we have shown the percentage so comparison will be from 0 to 15 15 to 
सेवेंटी फाइव टू एटी एट एटी एट टू नाइन्टी टू एंड नाइन्टी टू टू हंड्रेड सिमिलरली दिस इज फॉर डिफरेंट कंट्रीज कॉन्टिनेंट्स एशिया यूरोप एंड यू एस ए द कंपेरिजन फॉर ईच कॉन्टिनेंट इज शोन इन द बार परसेंटेज बार ग्राफ वी विल बी डूइंग एक्सरसाइज सेवन पॉइंट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन द फॉलोइंग टेबल शोज द नंबर ऑफ बसेस एंड ट्रक्स इन नियरेस्ट लैक यूनिट्स ड्रो परसेंटेज बार डायग्राम सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इन द ईयर टू थाउजेंड फाइव टू थाउजेंड सिक्स नंबर ऑफ ट्रक्स वॉज फोर्टी सेवन एंड नंबर ऑफ बसेस वॉज नाइन इन टू थाउजेंड सेवन टू थाउजेंड एट नंबर ऑफ ट्रक्स फिफ्टी सिक्स एंड नंबर ऑफ बसेस थर्टीन In two thousand eight, two thousand nine, the number of trucks was sixty and number of buses was sixteen. In two thousand nine, two thousand ten, it was sixty three and eighteen. Now we have to show the percentage bar graph. So first we will total the number of trucks and buses. Here in two thousand five, two thousand six, the total vehicle is fifty six. In two thousand seven, two thousand eight, this is fifty six plus thirteen, that is sixty nine. In two thousand eight, two thousand nine, it is sixty plus sixteen, seventy six. And two thousand nine, two thousand ten is sixty three plus eighteen, and that is eighty one. Now we have to convert the number of trucks in percentage. So percentage of trucks is. Forty-seven upon fifty-six multiplied by hundred, and that is equal to eighty-three point nine three. So it can be written as eighty-four percent. Since num percentage of trucks is eighty-four percent, so percentage of buses will be hundred minus eighty-four, and that is equal to sixteen percent. In two thousand seven, two thousand eight. The percentage of trucks is fifty six upon sixty nine multiplied by hundred, and that is equal to eighty one point one six percentage. Since the decimal is less than fifty, we can write it as eighty one percentage. Therefore, percentage of buses is equal to hundred minus eighty one is equal to nineteen percentage. In two thousand eight two thousand nine. The percentage of trucks is sixty upon seventy six multiplied by hundred, and that is equal to seventy eight point nine five percent. It can be written as seventy nine percent. Therefore, percentage of buses is equal to hundred minus seventy nine, and that is equal to twenty one percent. In two thousand nine two thousand ten, the percentage of trucks is sixty three upon eighty one multiplied by hundred. Is equal to seventy seven point seven eight. It can be written as seventy eight percent since after the decimal point it is more than five. Therefore, percentage of buses is equal to hundred minus seventy eight, and that is equal to twenty two percent. So here, in this graph, we have the percentage bar graph. shown with the black color for trucks and the remaining part for buses so here this is the bar graph of percentage for 2005 2006 2007 to 2008 percentage of trucks was 81% and here it is shown as black and the remaining as percentage for buses In two thousand eight, two thousand nine, it was seventy nine percent for trucks and remaining for buses. Two thousand nine, two thousand ten, it was seventy seven percentage for trucks and the remaining for buses. So here, the highest peak of each bar in percentage bar graph will be hundred, and we have to take. The scale as ten, twenty, thirty, forty. That is one centimeter will be ten percentage. 
and here equal distance should be taken for each bar the distance between each bar graph is also same now in question number 2 we have two questions here in year 2000 to 2001 the number of permanent roads with kilometer and temporary roads in lakhs kilometer is given 2001 2002 is 15 and 11 2003 to 2004 it is 17 and 13 2007 it is 20 and 19 we have to draw subdivided bar graph and percentage bar graph in the same question now permanent roads is 14 and temporary roads is 10 so total we have 24 here in 2001 2002 it is 15 and 11 so total is 26 2003 2004 is 17 and temporary roads is 13 so total up is 30 2007 2008 is 20 and temporary roads is 19 so we total it up to 39 now when we make the subdivided bar graph the height of each bar will be according to the total now here the total of 2000 2001 will be was 24 and out of that 14 was for permanent road and the remaining 10 was for temporary roads now here in this we have taken the scale for y axis 1 cm as 5 lakh km and in x axis as the years so black color is represented for permanent roads and the white color is represented for temporary roads so when we take the scale it is 14 for permanent roads and remaining 10 for temporary roads total is 24 similarly in 2001 2002 total will be 26 15 for permanent roads and the remaining 11 for temporary roads in 2003 2004 the total is 30 17 for permanent roads and 13 for temporary roads in 2007 2008 total was 39 here 20 was for permanent roads and the remaining 19 for temporary roads now we will be doing the same question for percentage bar graph in percentage bar graph we have to first solve for the percentage and then start making the bar graph here total of permanent roads and temporary roads is 24 out of that percentage of permanent road we have to calculate that is 14 upon 24 multiplied by 100 and that is equal to 58.33 that will be taken as 58 percentage so remaining percentage for temporary road will be 100 minus 58 is equal to 42% from 2001 2002 total was 26 percentage of permanent roads is 15 upon 26 multiplied by 100 and that is equal to 57.69 we can take it as 58 percentage so the remaining of percentage of temporary roads is 100 minus 58 that is 42 percent in 2003 2004 the total was 30 percentage of permanent road is 17 upon 30 multiplied by 100 is equal to 56.67 and that will be taken as 57 percentage so percentage of temporary roads is 
100 minus 57 that is equal to 43 percentage. 2007-2008 is total 39 roads. Out of that percentage of permanent road is 20 upon 39 multiplied by 100 and that is equal to 51.28 percent taken as 51 percentage. Therefore, percentage of temporary road is equal to 100 minus 51 is equal to 49 percentage. Now in the bar graph, the total of all the bar of all the year will be taken as 100. The scale in y axis will be taken as 1 centimeter is equal to 10 percentage. In 2000-2001, it is 58 percentage. Black color is taken as permanent roads. The remaining will be temporary roads. In 2001-2002, it is again 58 percentage. The remaining of temporary roads as 42 percentage. In 2003-2004, it was 57 percentage and the remaining will be percentage of temporary roads. In 2007-2008, the permanent road percentage was 51 and remaining as 49 percentage for temporary roads. The highest level of the bar for percentage will be always 100 percentage. Now we will be learning about different types of data. The data collected by the investigator himself with a definite plan in mind is known as primary data and the data collected by someone other than the investigator are known as secondary data. Now the difference between primary data and secondary data is in primary data it requires more time. It is up to date and have detailed information. It is correct and reliable. Whereas the secondary data is readily available so it needs less time. It is not necessarily up to date and it is less real, reliable. We will be solving the question of exercise 7.2. Classify the following in information as primary or secondary data. The information of attendance of every student collected by visiting every class in a school. It is primary data as the attendance is taken by visiting each class by themselves. The information of height of students was gathered from school records and sent to head office as it was to be urgently sent. Since it is collected from the school record, it is secondary data. Third question, in the village Nandapur, the information collected from every house regarding students not attending the school here the information collected was taken from going to each house it is primary data fourth question for science project the information of trees gathered by visiting a forest since it is directly done by visiting the forest it is primary data we have completed Exercise 7.1 and 7.2. Thank you students.